All right, so we said we had a couple minutes left for live viewer questions. So, Ashley, what do you pick out for today? Hector J writes, if you could hang out with any character from any movie, who would it be? Ooh. I would hang out with Darth Vader and Spider-Man. <laughs> I got it. I, I know. I know what Go I would. Ferris Bueller. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good for one. sure. 100%. I I'm going with Rodney Dangerfield from Caddyshack. Yes! Oh my God. <laughs> Bravo. I would absolutely want to golf. golf. You, you wouldn't be golfing the whole time. You'd just be partying. It'd be great. I would also say, uh, ooh, like Bill Murray in probably seven or eight of his films. Yeah. I would want. I just want to hang out with Bill. Can I just hang out with Bill Murray? I pretty much just want to be with that whole crew. <laughs> yeah. Bill Murray, John Goodman. Yeah. I'd like to be with the dude for a day as well. Yes. Just like that whole Very relaxed crew. day. Very relaxed <laughs> day. I'm going to lay by the Lots pool. Lots of white Russians. Drink white yeah. Russians, exactly. Uh, I can't think of anyone off the top of my head, but I don't know why you would hang out with Darth Vader, though. No, yeah. that's right. dark, man. That's a bad trip. Right. That's, that's bad. dark. Maybe because he's got a cool helmet. Yeah. Yeah. Ryan Healy writes, what's your favorite rule by an individual who, for the most part, was not a working actor? What? I mean, you, look, if you wanted to say, Jared Leto had five years off of when he did uh, Dallas Buyers Club, but I mean, he's still... But he was acting still, for well, that. The, yeah. the one that comes to mind for me is the most recent with Barkhad Abdi. I don't oh, know if yes. I'm saying yeah. his name yeah, properly. Good, I mean, yeah. he, was a, he was a taxi driver, a limo driver yeah. from Somalia, and, and he just nailed that yeah. part. I mean, I'll, he was... He wow. was great. I'll tell you the other guy, I don't know his name, but he played the father in, um, in Joe. That just oh, yeah. Came out. And he, he played a homeless guy. He was homeless. Mm -hmm. And then he passed away. But the guy, you, he was, I mean. That was so, intense. It was intense. Like, the, I thought they just pulled him off the street. They did. Like, they it did. felt they, that they, way. They it did. was and, very real. And to be able to be pulled off the street like that and, yeah. and be able to work and do that yeah. performance, you know, uh, yeah, that, that was probably the one. A random one just popped in my head um, up in the air. Remember Reitman mm -hmm. when he had the people that were actually laid off? Come yeah. in and be in scenes. And they were real people that were real laugh, people, right? and it was really emotional. And I couldn't tell like who was acting and who was like actually affected by that. So mm -hmm. I thought that was oh. a really cool. Oh, Shyamalan and Lady in the Water. No, I'm just kidding. Oh wow! <laughs> wow! I kid. Wow. I, I, kid. I kid. I kid. I, I would go with uh, Shanto <laughs> Copley in uh, District Nine. Oh, he yeah. wasn't wow. really an actor. He was uh, the producer for Neil Blomkamp, and yeah. I'm sure he did little things, but he was not a working actor. Yeah. And he oh. delivered a fantastic performance. Look yeah. at him. Yeah, he's yeah, great. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, let's. Do one more good one. Okay, Kobe Lee Bean writes, which is the better James Cameron film, Titanic or Avatar? I say Titanic. That's that's actually a pretty good versus top. That's a great versus topic. <laughs> I, that one's easy I, for me. Yeah, it's it, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't I don't know because what Titanic did for cinema at the time was huge, and and then Avatar did that again with special effects and everything. But Avatar story wise ripped off so many other things, and so visually is where I love it. But story wise, I'm like this is Ferngully Last Rainforest, and you know. I love Dances Fern with Wolves. Me I don't too. Care. I'll see Fern Gully. I love it too, but it feels like it. a rip-off. But what Titanic did at the time, mm -hmm. um, I would go Titanic because it was taking a historical event and making it more tangible for the audience. What do you think, Christian? Everyone hates Avatar. I don't. I, still, I don't hate I, it. I still, I a lot Avatar. of people hate it. A lot of people think that, again that it's a rip-off in it. That mm -hmm. I, I actually really enjoy the film and I, and I can watch it every time it's on TV. I know I'm in the minority. I would pick it. I do love Titanic as well, too. I, uh, but I would say I would keep Avatar for what it did visually. It, it was just an experience to this day, watching that movie in the it's theater. Gorgeous. Yeah. yeah. It's tough because in Titanic, he paid such close attention to detail. Like, all the dishes were accurate. Everything was period accurate and accurate to the boat. So for that, like, the production nerd in me loves that. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure you love that, too. Um, but for me, Avatar is the winner by a margin only because, and people criticize the movie for this, it has a very baseline story, it's mm -hmm. very basic, but it also reaches the biggest amount of people, and I think that was very intentional on James Cameron's part. He wanted to tell a story <laughs> that people could relate to no matter what their culture or background, and visually, you're right, I mean, the, the ground that he broke in visual effects with that film, and he did the same with Titanic mm -hmm. with the deep sea cameras and yeah. all that, but I just, I just loved it when I saw it. It was magic for me, so I say Avatar. Well, this one's easy for me because I'm a huge James Cameron fan. I like yeah. almost all his movies. Mm -hmm. Titanic is the one that I don't don't, I, like. <laughs> don't really care for. I like the last 30 minutes when the ship's breaking apart. Yeah. That's awesome. But, <laughs> but but the actual story in it, I just I didn't like it. Some of the dialogue. I mean, he, he you know James Cameron's not the best at dialogue. But Avatar to me, I, I think it's kind of like in now to bash Avatar. Yeah. Mm. I really like it. I can also watch it all the time. And the storyline, yes, we've seen it before, and it is very simple, but there is like a nice message with it about, mm. of uh, about people being together and connected with, with not them just themselves, but with uh, 
Earth or whatever, Earth, but yeah. Pandora, but the, you know, what he's really saying is about Earth and taking care of it. And so for that, I, I think Avatar by Mile. Yeah, I definitely didn't hate it. I do think a lot of people are like, that's so overrated, and now we're gonna get three more of them. Mm -hmm. But I just, that's James Cameron. Like, Terminator, mm -hmm. everything he's done, it constantly raises the bar. Yeah. So that really was a good question. Thank you for that. Hey everyone, if you like this video, click that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe to our AMC Movie News YouTube channel. It's free and helps you stay up to date with all the latest movie news, as well as our daily AMC Movie Talk Show. Also, make sure that you follow us on Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date with all of our special promotions, contests, and prize giveaways.